uh, are going to use themselves or sell to others. Uh, they create houses, they build uh, environments, they create vehicles. So you can create your own media in Second Life, but the content itself is only part of the answer. It is the experience <laughs> of being in Second Life that is its appeal for hundreds and thousands of online users. Second Life allows users to play at versions of themselves through the avatars that they create. And that brings me to an important point. In many social media, perhaps even more important than the idea of user-authored content, is the idea that uh, users can participate in the fashioning of their own experience. That it's not just a question of content, but a question of form. And it's not just a question of form, but of process. In many of these social environments, performance is content. Users perform Twitter for those who are following them. Users of Facebook deliver changes to their status on their status line as a kind of performance. And obviously, all those YouTube videos in which an individual sits in front of a camera and talks to addresses the audience are performance videos. They are literally broadcasting themselves. Through the avatars in Second Life, users are staging also a kind of performance. There's a sense in which all of social media are performative. Even some of the examples that were discussed in earlier sections today, where bloggers come online to correct journalists, uh, users participate in the political process. Um, these all have performative aspects to them, aspects in which the individual uh, user uh, creates a persona, an online persona that he or she wants to project. Um, Professor uh, Papakarisi argued for the importance of identity, identi uh, identity definition in social media. And this is related to the notion that I'm trying to get at with, the, with this uh, concept of performance here. Um, I think what happens in many social media is that uh, it's not a question of users having one single coherent identity, but rather a question of users performing their identity. I think that Facebook pages are special identities that are defined in part by the constraints and um, applications that, and structures that Facebook itself makes possible. There's a sense in which, um, just as in uh, social uh, interactions in a physical world, as uh, Irving Goffman noted um, decades ago, um, we perform ourselves. So uh, on Facebook and in Second Life, especially in the MMOs and in YouTube, we perform our identities. I would even go further and argue with Judith Butler that in a certain sense, these, we constitute our identities by the kinds of media that we choose and the kinds of performances that we undertake. So I think the immediate future of digital media, certainly social media, belongs to all kinds of such performances. Now, even a few years ago, before the widespread popularity of social media, it was fashionable predict, to predict that we would all be living in a virtual reality world. That com the computer as virtual reality would absorb and replace all other media. The happy version of this prediction was the holodeck, which um, was featured on the uh, television series Star Trek The Next Generation. You see a couple of illustrations here of the holodeck. One, uh, the two characters standing before it gets turned on, and the uh, other, the particular narrative that they choose to live through, uh, they choose to experience through virtual reality. You see here the nightmare version of the fantasy uh, given to us in the Matrix, where virtual reality constitutes a dystopia that is con concocted to deceive the whole human race, except for our hero Neo, of course. But I think both the fantasy and the nightmare seem less and less likely today. All we have to do is call into mind the diversity of social media forms that I've been mentioning today, just now, and that we've been talking about through the whole day. And the ways in which traditional media forms of video and uh, film and even radio seem to survive and thrive in this new media economy, all tied together in chains of remediation and uh, with the added surprise of the whole remix phenomenon. Um, 
hybridity, I think, is the hallmark of our media economy today. Hybridity that was also emphasized in the last panel by Professor Haritos. Um, and I haven't even discussed the locketed media forms that he was talking about, which I think add an important additional dimension to the hybridity of, uh, digital, of the digital economy today, where we have uh, forms of social interaction that are mediated in part by handheld devices or smartphones, in part by our presence on the web, and in part by our physical presence and our physical surroundings. But the lesson I take is that the key to the new media economy is not to find a single technology that will replace all others, but rather to appreciate the new combinations of existing forms. From this perspective, we will enjoy unprecedented diversity in our media in the coming years. Thank you.